Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm here with the next two games in the 1955 Senator season. Although, really, it isn't the next two games. I skipped ahead, as I said I would, to the Kansas City series. So, in the interim, we had played Boston. We had played Baltimore. Um, we played, maybe and there was another team probably in there. Let me see. Um, let's go back. Detroit, we had played, I think we had played, yeah, we played Detroit. So, um, so we find ourselves here on May 17th, having skipped ahead well, I quick played the games. And interestingly, at this point in real life, the Senators were 11 and 17. But these Senators are 12 and 16. So we're playing one game better than the real Senators did at this point. Which doesn't really mean much because they lost over 100 games. Um, but we, uh, but that's still something, right? And uh, so let me see here. We're going to lower the sound on the computer. Even though it still seems to come through. I say don't record the sounds on the computer and I turn the sound down. And still yet you can at times hear um, what's going on on the computer. So I don't know what the deal is with that. But anyway, so we are now um, at home for two games against Kansas City. I will be televising both games. We had a lot of double headers too, so we're gonna have possibly some tired pitching, um, but you know, there's not much I can do about that. But anyway, um, we're going to say play the day, take the manual game. We have McDermott and this I would be the human. Um, and he would be the computer. Uh, let me see here. What do we got? We got a problem with the eligibles? Yeah, all right. Um, I guess they will put down Herbert. So what have we got for eligibles? Have we got too many guys? No, we don't have enough guys. Um, I would be inclined to say let's bring up Clark. Yeah, let's bring up Clark. And uh, there you go. You got the statistics for the day. And uh, playing in Washington. Of course, not that Washington, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I, I don't have the old ballparks and can't seem to be able to get them. So we are playing in Nationals Park with the uh, Senators, and I doubt it's because we're playing in Nationals Park that we're one game better than the real Nationals. But anyway, Joe DeMaestri is facing Mickey McDermott to lead off the game, and he gets a single. So McDermott immediately gives a, a hit up to the first guy he faces, and that brings up Jim Finnegan for Kansas City, for the Kansas City A's. And, uh... Checking the row, oh my God, he hit a triple. So McDermott is just immediately getting his butt handed to him. Maybe because he's tired. I may have to think about um, next game, possibly starting um, Abernathy. There's gonna be a fly ball by Vic Power, but it could have been a home run. It will though be a deep fly to the wall, which is gonna knock in another run. And so now the Kansas City A's are ahead to nothing. And then that's gonna be a ground out by Gus Zerniel. And that brings up Hector Lopez and he is out. So McDermott settles down a little bit after giving up two immediate runs. And we go to the, the uh, we, go to bat against Johnny Gray. Now remember, Kansas City was also not a very good team. So we're playing kind of on an even playing field when we play Kansas City and Baltimore because they were also not very good teams. Oravets up with an out in the inning and he will hit the ball to the shortstop and he is out. And that brings up Pete Reynolds. 
Pete Rollins with a single. Man, this guy's pitching card is terrible, at least against lefties. Vernon is up. And Vernon strikes out. I mean, that's one case where you really don't want to hit on your car on on uh, your own card. You want to hit on the pitcher's card. So uh, McDermott is pitching to Joe Astroth, and he is going to hit a home run. Do you believe this? A home run, one to two, or a fly ball, and he's going to get the home run. Oh wait a minute, maybe not. No, it is. So Sarah had three nothing. I thought they were going to be able to bring that back, maybe, but they didn't. So Elmer Velo walks, and McDermott is just in all kinds of trouble here. And then he walks Harry Simpson, and that brings up Johnny Gray, the pitcher, and he will try to bunt. Um, I am. Let's see. I'm going to try to throw for the runner. And he's out. The runner is out. Good. All right. And then that brings up Dimitri Mystery with um, one. Out. He hits the ball to Vernon. And Vernon gets the out, but the runners advance. And now Jim Fitton is up with two down. And that's going to be a fly ball. Gets us out of the inning without more damage, but... McDermott did give up a run, and now we're down 3 nothing. Seavers up against Johnny Gray, and that's going to be a ground ball. Man, this guy is not good against anybody. He's not even good against righties. But yet, we can't get on down because we're not in our cards. Triple 1-6 to six for Paul, or a, uh, or a home run 1-6 to six or a triple. So, he's going to get the triple. So, Paula gets a triple, a one-out triple with Valdez Vito up. And then a ground ball to the pitcher. Sure. You really don't want that. But the run scores, so it's 3-1 to one, but still. And then the walking man, Edwards, comes up against the dude that walks everybody, and he pops out to short. I mean, we are just not getting the good roll. I mean, and you don't even need good rolls. The guy has stuff all over his card. McDermott pitching to Vic Power, and that's going to be a ground ball to Yost. He's a 1. Now, and he makes an error. God. Zerniel's up. He strikes out Zerniel. So there's one down with power at first. Here in the top of the third, Hector Lopez up. And he walks Hector Lopez. These guys have a lot less chance of getting on, but you can find them all. Hit by pitch and injured for Astroth. And he'll have to sit out one additional day and the rest of the game. But the bases are loaded with one out for Velo. And he hits into a double play. Thank you. I mean, we really need... I, mean, I was thinking that, but then I was like, yeah, well, what are the odds? But we got it. So it is still only 3-1 and McDermott up at the plate. And he strikes out. You, again, you don't want to hit on your own card. You want to hit on the pitcher's card in this case. Yost, Yost is up. And Yost walks. All right. So he gets on. Oravets is up. And he walks. Good. Nice. Now see by what should they'll pull him now. And we won't. And just as we're starting to get to his card. But then Runnels hits into a, <coughs> a double play. I'm actually almost happy to see that because at least it'll keep um, it'll keep that pitcher in the game. Because we're going to get to him sooner or later. Harry Simpson hits a fly ball. And for the first out in the top of the fourth. And Johnny Gray is up. They're not pinch hitting for him, and nor they should. I mean, he's only given up one run so far. Arvel Deviso makes the play for the second out, and Demaestri's up. He hits a hit ground ball to Runnels. Runnels gets him, and that's it for them in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Vernon up at the plate, and he walks. So we got a man on, no outs. Seavers up. And he hits a fly ball to center. And then when we do hit his card, we hit the one column where he has outs. Carlos Paul is up. And he hits a triple one or a double. Carlos Paula is being, he's our hero this game. Hits a double, probably can't send Vernon, and I'm not going to. So, um, 
Runners at second, third, one down. Valdiviso up and hit ground ball B. I'm going to try to advance and see what happens. And he's out. Uh, all right, Edwards is up. And Edwards hits a triple one to seven or single to level asterisk. Well, that's going to at least get one run in. And now McDermott's up, and the score is 3 2. He has a chance to help himself up here, and he doesn't. He's gone out. Hopefully, they still decide to keep Johnny Gray in the game. Finnegan is up to face uh, McDermott, and he flies out. Top of the fifth here. We're losing just 3 2. Not a bad game. Vic Powera, and he walks. That brings up Gus Zerniel. Zerniel is going to make hit a home run. It's borderline. We could bring it back, but we have bad outfielders, so we may not do that. Kick getting it. It's a home run. It's a two-run two homer. So they're ahead 5-2 five, five, now. And then they're continuing the onslaught as Vic, or, uh, Hector Lopez gets a hit. And now Bill, Billy Shaw, who's probably on for the guy that got in. And that's going to be an out at first. And Velo's up with two down. And he pops out, but the A's strike for two more runs in the fifth to take a 5-2 to two lead. And Eddie Oates is up at the plate. And he's going to pop out. Oravet is up. And he walks. I mean, this guy's card is loaded with on base, and we can't touch it. Runnels is up, and he's going to hit a catcher card. He's a four. But they got it. And so it's an out, and Vernon's up. And Vernon is going to miss a single one to 17. We really have had terrible luck this game. This guy, we should have been all over this guy. But we're not. So, so Harry Simpson is facing um, McDermott here to lead off the sixth with the A still holding a three-run lead. They're not going to pinch hit for Gray, which is a good sign, maybe, except it isn't because we still can't touch any of his multiple base chances on his card. And then the Maestri is up with two down, and he flies out. So McDermott gets us out of the inning, but again, thank you, McDermott, because, um, yeah, we're already down by three. Roy Severs is up. He's going to ground out. We keep hitting on our card, which is not a good thing in this particular game. Carlos Paulo, though, two for two, and he flies out. He, had, he was two for two with a triple and a single. And now Valdez is 0 for two on the day, and he walks. But this is not the time to start doing that with two outs. Um, Bruce Edwards hits a ground ball to the second base. Baseman. He's a four. Let's see if he can make an error. But he doesn't. So, the, uh, the A's are batting in the top of the seventh. Again, leading 5-2. to two. Jim Finnegan up. And he is hitting a single. I got to keep McDermott in. I mean, I, we can't go be burning through the bullpen. And besides, I don't really have a lot of faith that we're going to come back in this game down three. When we were down one, maybe. And then Gus Zerny hit a triple to one to seven or a single double asterisk, which is, well, not necessarily. I'm going to throw for the lead runner because you have to stop now. They got it. You have to try to stop any more runs from scoring. And then again, he gets hit again. See, now this is the only one, well, two on base. Yeah. Uh, tell me about it. So that's going to be a fly ball, but it's going to score a run. Um, it'll be the second out. But now they lead 7-2. And then that's going to be a fly ball. And at least McDermott gave us seven innings, but so what? I mean, he gave us seven bad innings. 
And here he is to bat, but I'm going to let him bat because he actually has a better on base um, hitting target than most. And he hits a single. Eddie Yost is up. And he walks. So now we're starting something. We're, you know, we're down five. Oravets is up. Oravets walks. Bases are loaded with no outs. Now we could do something here, but we have to. All right. They're going to probably take Gray out. That's the unfortunate thing. And they do, and they bring in Vic Rashi. And he's going to face Runnels, and Runnels walks. So now it's 7 and 3, and we still don't have any outs, and Vernon. And Vernon hits a single. And I am going to, I'm going to hold the runners because really we need, we need base runners and runs. We don't need to get people thrown out. And that's going to be a fly fly ball by Roy Seavers, but it's going to knock in at least another run and make it 7-5. And that brings up Carlos Paula. And Carlos Paula is going to hit a fly ball B. So we're back within two. I mean, that's something that you can hang your hat on, sort of. And Bill DeVizo is up, and he is going to be out. But we're back within two runs, albeit after seven innings. And uh, we are going to... I'm going to keep McDermott out there. He strikes out Harry Sims. He's tired. He's dog tired, but, you know, so what? Uh, Bill Renna is probably a pinch hitter, and he's going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop. So we got a tired and gassed McDermott uh, giving us the uh, old college effort here. And Demace Mitri is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball. And so McDermott gets us out of the inning, and Bruce Edwards is up. We're only down by two, two and against Vic Rashi, and he walks. The walking man walks. McDermott up. Got a good hitting card. And he's going to hit a double. Hold on. Hold the presses. Washington's coming back. I'm just going to hold. We've got two out, or we've got no out, so, and the top of the order coming up. And they're going to take Rashi out, maybe, and they bring in Tom Gorman. And he walks um, Eddie Yost. So the bases are loaded, no outs, four of that's up. And that's going to be a bad ball. It's going to bring in a run. So we're down by a run. No outs. Eighth inning. Or that's up. Big chance here. And he gets a single. He'll knock in at least one. And that's all. But it's a tie game now. And Ronald is up with no outs still. And he walks to load the bases and keep them loaded up. So Garmin is giving everything right back. And then Vernon is up. And Vernon hits a fly to center. But, but that's Simpson. And he's a four. That could drop in. And it does. And we take a two-run lead. And Roy Sears up at the plate. And he pops out. And that's only first out. We still got a runner 90 feet away in Runnels. And that brings up Carlos Paulo, who's had a hell of a day. And he's going to hit a single and not get another run. It's 10-7. And that brings up Valdezzo. And Valdezzo is going to hit a triple. And he's going to knock in two with that. And now I don't think we have to worry. We might even be able to let McDermott pitch the uh, ninth, even though he's gassed. And uh, uh, Edwards is up. He's going to hit a ground ball with the shortstop. Does that bring in the other run? It does. It's 13-7 to seven and McDermott up at the plate. Going to definitely let him hit, and he singles. And he's three for five, and that brings up Eddie Yost. And Eddie Yost walks. We're not even done. And Gorman, they're letting Gorman, they're hanging him out to dry. Oravets is up. And Oravets hits a single. It might even score for McDermott. Who knows? I'm going to try it, though, because we got two outs. Hold the trailing run. And it's going to score, and it's 14-7. And Runnels is up, up. And Runnels finally hits a ground ball, gets out of the inning. 
One thing I am going to do is I'm going to make a defensive change and I am going to put Umflit in its center field. I got to say, I did not have a lot of faith in us coming back and I'm going to keep a tired McDermott out there to pitch and get the complete game because he's got a seven run lead. Now he's got a seven run lead, even though that was the one thing in his column. It was a hit and he gave it up, but Finnegan is aboard with no outs and power up. And that's going to be a single. All right. Pretty soon I will go to the bullpen, but I want to see if he can get out of this. Zerniel up at the plate and he singles. All right, we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the pen. Um Yeah, let's go to the pen and get Stewart. Yeah, let's get Stewart and put him in the game. This is Bunky Stewart. Bases loaded, no outs. And that's going to score a run and still no outs. And then a single is going to knock in another couple. So hold on to your hats because this might be a rocky ride. It's only... All right. So now they hit it to center. I did put Umflit in, but that still might get past Umflit. He snares it for the out. Thank you. That was a smart decision. Gorman is up at the plate. They're going to pinch hit for him. Even with slaughter. Enos Country Slaughter hits a single. Yeah, this isn't over yet. Harrison Simpson's up, and he walks. I got a little too complacent, maybe, because the bases now are loaded with one out. And Renna up at the plate, and he is going to hit a double. This is unbelievable. They're going to come back and win it and go ahead. Hey, what happened? I'm going to throw for the runner. No, it didn't get him. It's... 14 13, one out. And he hits a single. It's a single one to nine, and he gets it. Uh, we're in trouble. We need a double play. That's exactly what we need. He hits it into Valdiviso. And he got through the infield and tied the game. And I didn't even want the infield in. That's a fly ball. The computer brought the infield in for me. I got to throw for the run. I got to throw for the runner. And they're, they're going to take a 15 14 lead, and then the strikeout gets us out of the inning. But now we've got to have a run to tie the game. What a game this has been. Vernon is up. He walks. Cloyd Boyer is now on to pitch for them. Seavers is up. They're going to bring in Bill Harrington. And he hits a ground ball. Finnegan, he's a four. Let's see if he can make a, a bad play on it. He does. Carlos Paul is up. We need big. We need now. We need something big there. We got a fly ball. We don't have pinch hitting really on the bench. So Velda goes up. And he's going to hit a double and knock in a run and tie the game. I'm going to hold the runner. We've got a tie game in the bag. No, we don't. Oh. All right. One out. And he hits into a game-ending double play. Unbelievable. Why wasn't that a run? Nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. All right. I don't know. I, I mean, I can only do what the, you know, I can only go by what the game is doing. But, I mean, a double slash single should have knocked in a run, even if it wasn't a double. So we lose the game 15-14. What a heartbreaking loss this was. McDermott goes eight, gives up nine earned runs, and almost wins a game. But we brought in Bunky Stewart, and he gave up five runs in one inning. I, I didn't think it was possible that they could get seven runs, but they did. They got more than that. All right, we got to go to the next game. We got to move on. Got to move ahead. And this time we're going to have Porterfield going up against L. Dittmar. And there's the statistics for the day. 
and Bob Porterfield's out there for us, and they're going to be playing Enos Country Slutter in this game. And he hits a single. And Jim Finnegan's up after him. He hits into a double play. Thank you. You can see it's a day game. I love the day games in, the, in this in Stratomatic. And uh, with uh, power up, he hits into a ground ball. And that's going to be it. In the first inning for them, and Art Dittmar, did I say L. Dittmar? It's Art Dittmar is on the Yost, our leadoff batter, and he flies out. Ernie Oravets is up, and he singles. I still can't get over losing that first game. Oravets with a hit. He's aboard. Runnels is up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Vernon. Mickey Vernon and Mickey Vernon. There was a pass ball, so he's still alive up there. Catcher Catcher Derek, he's a four. And he's out. So Zerny Vernon is going to bat in the top of the second against Porterfield. And uh, Porterfield comes into the game 2-0. 413 earned run average in 33 innings. And Hector Lopez is up. He's going to fly out. out. And that brings up Elmer Velo, and he is going to hit a single. So Kansas City has a man aboard with two down and Joe DeMaestri up. And he's going to hit a single. So now they've got two runners on, two out. All you got to do is get an out and get out of this inning. And Billy Shantz is up, and he flies out. And he is a replacement for the guy that got injured last game. I forget who it was. We have Roy Sears leading off in the bottom of the second, and he walks. 0-0 zero, zero game here in the bottom of the second. No outs. Carlos Paul up. And he's going to hit a single. I'm going to hold the runner because it's it's uh, Seavers. Valdezzo is up, and he hits a fly ball. Bruce Edwards, our walking man, he hits a ground ball. ball. That's going to be two outs. Runners at the corners. And unfortunately, that's going to mean the pitcher is up, I believe it is, and it is Porterfield. Up at the plate, and he hits a ground ball first, but that's power, and he's a two, a one. And he does make the play. So, our Dittmar is now facing Bob Porterfield, and he's going to hit a ground ball. And ball out. One down for Kansas City in the third. Enos Country Slaughter going to hit a triple one, two, double. Obviously, this was when he was at the end of his career. Uh, Jim Figgin is up, and he is going to line out. This time he lines out. Uh, back in the last game, when they needed, when they got partial hits, they actually got him. And it'll be a pop out to end the inning, and we're still tied at nothing apiece. Going to go to the bottom of the third. Eddie Yost up at the plate, and he walks. So we got a man aboard with no outs. Against Dittmar, Oravets is up. Oravets strikes out. Runnels is up. up. And Runnels is going to hit a single. Nice. Or eventually he will. So he hits right up the middle for a single. We got two on with one out and Vernon up. And he hits into a double play. Ground ball to second double play. So we're going to go to the top of the four. Still tied at nothing. Porterfield still pitching well, dealing, and a ground ball to Valdiviso, so, and he makes an error. So Zerniel's aboard with Lopez, and he's going to hit in a double play. So, and that's a that's a guaranteed double play. So there's two down with Velo up. 
and he singles. Alvillo with a base hit right up the middle. And Demetri up at the plate, and he hits a ground ball to second. That's Runnels, he's only a three. He might make the play, but he doesn't. And so Billy Shantz is up, and he hits a ground ball and gets out of the inning. So it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Runnels couldn't get to a key uh, ball, but it doesn't really matter. Well, actually, it wasn't key because it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Roy Sears is up at the plate, and he strikes out. So there's one down here in the bottom of the fourth. Carlos Paul up. He hits a single right up the middle. So Carlos Paul is aboard. Valdivizo is up, and he strikes out. So that's two down. That should bring up Bruce Edwards, and it does. The walking man, and he walks. But again, that brings up our pitcher. Bob Porter he was pitching well, so I can't take him out, but he walks. And that's going to be Eddie, o Eddie Ose is in a key situation right here. He's got to come through. Well, he walks. All right. I mean, that's a run, but I have no delusions that a run is going to hold up for Bob Porter. But it might. And that's going to be a home run, one to ten, or a triple trip for Oravet. So he's going to clear the bases, or at least it looks like he's going to. God knows. Maybe he won't. But he does. And so we have a 4 nothing lead. Now I'm feeling a little better about it. And, and Runnels is up at the plate, and he walks to put runners at the corners. Dittmar is getting his butt handed to him by the Washington Senators. But there's a strikeout by Mickey Vernon to any enemy. But we're still ahead 4 nothing with Porterfield pitching out of his mind. So who knows? And that's going to be a strikeout for Dittmar. They actually let him hit. They, they weren't going to relieve him yet. Enos Country Slaughter is up and he walks. Man, this guy's been on every single time. He's two for two with a double and a walk. Finnegan's up. He's 0 for two. two. But he hits the ball deep and out of the park. And that's going to give them, that's going to cut the lead in half. And that's the first they've been able to get to Porterfield. Pop up for power is two down. So we may have another barn burn like we had in the game one. And I don't want to see another one of those. Uh, and then there's a ground ball for Ernie. I would just rather that Porterfield pitched out of his mind from here on out and we win the game. But we're ahead 4 2, bottom of the fifth. See where he's up. And he's going to hit a single. That's a ballpark single. So the single is 1 to 15 today on this particular day in Washington. Carlos Palahala up two for two, and he hits a ground ball to second. If Finnegan's a four, four, and he doesn't make the play, which is great. So Valdiviso is up, and he walks to load the bases for Porterfield. Or no, for uh, Bruce Edwards. All right, walking Walk. man. And he walks. So, so we're now ahead five two. Now, Kansas City thought that that was a safe lead last game, and it wasn't. And that's going to be a pop-up first, first for Porterfield for just the first out. Let's see if they keep the infield in. They had it in for Porterfield. They're going to have the corners in. Yost up, and he hits into a double play. So we only got one run there, but it still keeps us ahead by three, which is reasonable considering that Porterfield is pitching a great game right now. And he he gets a fly ball to Seavers by Hector Lopez. One down, and Elmer Velo is up, and he walks. That brings up Joe DeMaestri, who strikes out. And then, of course, Billy Shantz. Billy Shantz, line out, Max. So it doesn't really matter. There's already two outs. But we're still ahead 5-2. Oravets up to 2 for 3 on the day. Foul out to the catcher. Runnels up. And Runnels walks. So we got a man aboard here in the bottom of the sixth. Three-run lead for us. Mickey Vernon up. He hits a fly ball. And 
that brings up Seavers. And Seavers is going to hit a single. We got two aboard, but now we're going to the bottom of the lineup. Paul, though, he has been playing well lately, and he hits the ball to center, who is a five. He's a five. That's going to be a base hit and run. And that does knock in another run for us. We're at 6-2 now with Valdez so up. And he hits a ground ball to the shortstop that's going to end the inning. But Porterfield, <laughs> now with a four-run lead going to the seventh, I am inclined to say... Now, I'm going to keep Borovets out there for right now because he comes up next inning. So... That's going to be a ground ball to short, but after he bats next in, I'm going to put in Umflit as a defensive replacement in center. The man who always gets on does it again with another single. We should just let him get first base because he's going to get out. Home run 1-14, to 14, but it's a fly ball, and this time it will stay in the park because it's an 18 roll or an 18 pick, whatever you want to call it. That's two down, Vic Power up. And Vic Power is going to hit a double. Maybe they will try to score uh, Slaughter. I mean, he scored from first base on a single in the World Series, didn't he? Um, I'm going to just stop the runner because there's no sense. We're still ahead by three, and then there's a strikeout to end the enemy. So we go to the bottom of the seventh. We are ahead by the score of 6-3. And Ed, Bruce Edwards is up against Vic Rashi. They bring in Vic Rashi, and he walks Edwards. That brings up Porterfield. I'm going to keep Porterfield out there. He's pitching well enough. So, one down, and Yost up. And Yost hits a fly ball. That'll be two down, and now here's Oravets. And the reason I kept him in the game is because he's batting right now. He'll be out, and so I will make that defensive replacement now as we go to the field in the top of the eighth. Umflit uh, going to center field. And Porterfield still out there, pitching well. Not tired yet, according to the computer. So a ground ball will be an out. Um, Elmer Hervelo up, and he, of course, always gets on. He's three for three now. The Maestri's up. He's been having a good day, but he flies out. So he's going to um, hopefully end his day two for four. So we hopefully won't see him again because they'll be out of the game and we will win, but we'll see. And that brings up Billy Shantz. And they're going to pinch hit for Billy Shantz with Tom Saffel. I've never in my life heard of Tom Saffel, and he gets an unlikely line out. It was a single one to 18, and he got a 20. So they get no runs in the eighth. We only have to hang on for the ninth, of course. Really, that's what I thought last game. Pete Ronalds is up. And he hit the ball the first. Big Vernon's up. He hits a double one to 13. It's going to be a single, though. Seaver's up at the plate with one down, and he gets a single. So we got two on with only one out against Vic Rashi. And Carlos Paula up at the plate hits a fly ball to left. He's a five. You got to believe that's going to fall. He can't get to it, so that's a run. We're ahead 7 3. Valdiviso is up, and he hits a fly ball, which is going to score another run. And we are ahead 8 3. And Edwards is up. And Edwards hits into a ground ball. We're going to take the field. We only have to stop him from getting five. But then again, last game, we only had to stop him from getting seven. And we couldn't. And Bill Brown is going to pinch hit. hit. And of course, no, he misses this single. I was going to say it's a single one to 15. He got a 16. Porterfield pitching well here. And of course, the guy that gets on, on will get on again. 
catcher card, Edward, he's a four. No, that's the first time he got out, and there's two down for Kansas City. And that's going to be a double one to five single. It's going to be a single. You got to believe we're going to walk away with a win here. They've got two outs. Vic power up, and he hits a ground ball. He's a three. And he got him, and we do win the game. We split with Kansas City. Not really what you wanted to see because we could have won that first game as well. And we are uh, 13 and 17 on the year. Only a half game behind the Athletics, who dropped to 14 and 17. Porterfield is now 3 and 0 with a 402 earned run average. And you can see how our hitters are doing. Eddie Yost, very disappointing, hitting 188. But anyway, um, but we have some guys, hit, Oravets is hitting 345. It's crazy. Umflet's hitting 310. Ronalds is hitting 310. Vernon is hitting 355. I would not have guessed. And Paul is hitting 357. With hitting like that, we really, you would think, would be better than 13 and 17. But we're not, and that's how it ends. We split with Kansas City, and that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.